Hello everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Elder Scrolls Online, the Somerset Isles expansion. So this came out, I don't know when to be honest. I think a few days ago, give or take, I think it's still on sort of pre-release, like if you pre-ordered it, you get to play it early, I think. I don't think it's officially out yet, I think it might be officially out today or something. It doesn't really matter. Point is, we can play it now, so we're going to play it now. Uh, so let me just get this out of the way. I did do a full playthrough of the Morrowind expansion of Elder Scrolls Online. I would highly recommend you go check that out if you enjoy this. And also, if you are here just to see what it's like, if you want to check it out for yourself, uh, bear in mind, this is a Let's Play, so I will be talking a lot and cracking wires, so if that ain't your thing, uh, you know, shove it up your ass, I suppose. Alright, so let's play the cinematic. <laughs> let's go! And yes, we will be continuing with the same character. Let's move this off the screen. There you go. Enjoy. By the way, I know for the Morrowind. Ancient. Hang on, oh shut up. It seems no one has entered this place in centuries. Hang on! Don't come any closer! Cave it! Look out! Ah! Bloody hell it's loud. I will fix that after the cutscene. I think our friend is going to be alright. Get out of my head! Resist him, newcomer! You must wake up! Now! This is a very pretty game. I like color. It's purple, it's beautiful. Okay, that was the whole thing, alright. So what I was gonna say was, I know for the Morrowind expansion there was a separate uh, tutorial. A lot of people, I guess, just watched the first episode and then complained, because a lot of people were like, Yo, you didn't play the tutorial! I will make a new character now, specifically to see if there's a new tutorial, and then we're going to jump on this one, okay? Just so we can check out the tutorial. So let's, uh... How do we do this? Create character. I don't give a rat's ass what we look like, because we're not going to keep this one, so we'll randomize the appearance. Hideous. Let's randomize it again. Also hideous, but we'll roll with that. Uh, character name will be Bungle. Bungle. Why? I don't know. Like George and Bungle. We're gonna be a lady, because again, I don't care. You have played through a tutorial with a previous character. You may choose to play through it again with Bungle, or skip it. I would play. Name already. Someone took Bungle? Bungle George. There you go. Bungle George. Right. Create. Play. You know, it took Bungle George, did they? Didn't think of that, did ya? Geniuses. Oh, Jesus God, Can you okay. Hear me? My name is Oriandra. I'll help you get out of this place. Hello? You are frozen. You just think you are. Yeah, I can't move. Alright, so I appear to have to change the controls and things because I had to reinstall this on the new PC. Bloody blah, blah. So give me a moment here to mess around with the controls and then we shall carry on. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. By the way, I probably should answer this question because I do, believe it or not, get it uh, quite a bit on the Morrowind expansion videos for Elder Scrolls Online. Some people are asking, can you play this single player? No, you can't. It's, it is straight up an MMO. Um, but you can play it single player, if you know what I mean. Like, you don't have to team up with people or anything like that. Like, I played the whole Elder Scrolls Online... I don't know why I'm saying the whole name. I played the whole Morrowind expansion without partying up with anyone at any point, other than there was, like, some world bosses, and they just kind of showed up. And most of them I soloed, or there was, like, one dude there. Never really spoke to anyone, because I'm an unsociable bastard. So, yeah. Whilst... It is an MMO, you can't not have people run around, which I know really bothers some people. Again, you don't ever need to play with them as far as I'm aware, and i that's how I treated Elder Scrolls Online. I, again, I don't know why I keep saying the whole name. That's the way I treated uh, the Morrowind expansion, I just played it like I was playing, you know, Skyrim or something. So, yeah, anyway, without further ado, let's go talk to Oriandra, a lovely name. Let me make sure, however, I almost forgot. I need to put on uh, subtitles. Of course they're under audio. That doesn't make any sense to me. But there you go. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to turn down the master volume a bit, because again, it was loud as balls. And then we're going to go to... Oh, you know what? That's actually probably about right, I think. Oddly enough. 
Uh, let's just go talk to her and I'll sort of try and adjust it on the fly. It might still be really loud. Or it could have just been the opening cutscene, I'm not sure. Hello? Let's interact with the object. E. Oh god, I feel so quick. Forgotten Adventure is great, so it's lovely. This is just going to teach us how to use a weapon, I suspect. I right, to open your inventory. Get that bad boy. Lovely. Aha! Beyond the door. You need to see for yourself before I tell you more. Sounds a little quiet, right? So let's go to settings, go to audio. Again, once this is done, it's done. You know, we won't have to keep messing around with it, so... Just bear with me, you impatient bastards. Alright, we'll try that. Let's echo. Oh, God, Jesus. Yeah, the sensitivity I'm have turned up a little... Ooh. That's turned up a little much. I feel really, uh... Really floaty, though maybe that's just the way the game is and I kind of forgot, because it's been a while since I played it, you know, I, I basically beat the the Morrow in the expansion and then didn't play Elder Scrolls Online again. This mind trap by an entity called Katora. Its magic is powerful. Why am I so bloody but sure? stronger than you know. It may appear beautiful, but it's an illusion. A trap designed to control you. Katora won't tolerate your resistance much longer. Ha 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 ha! There is no escape. I will break you in time. I will break Watch you. Watch as I turn your own memories against you. Choppy choppy. In the mind trap, Engage the, the enemy. Have at you, snake. Let's give him a light attack of justice. What a piece of me. Oh, get dunked on, son. Let's Another go teabag one. him. Defend oh, God. And strike back. Bonk. Erect. Again, this is going to teach us the very Another basics of combat. Interrupt the spell and I'm just doing this to see how it's different, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Here we go. Heavy tag of justice. Get clobbered. Well done. With every I think the audio was good. I don't know. We leveled up. Claim now. What am I claiming? Congratulations. Level 2 rewards. Oh. This seems different. I don't remember it being like this. Woohoo! What's this? A crown fortifying mill. Crown fortifying mill. Round fortifying? Reese's Max up. She's rambling. Alright, hang on. Let's go, let's go talk to this, uh... Riandra. There you go. I was gonna say Alejandro, then I remember that was both a man's name and also the name of a song, and that's why it came to mind. Alejandro, Ali Alejandro. Just believe in yourself. Okay, we gotta do like a leap of faith. Bonsai! Dude, that's so cool. Whoa, what the hell happened to my arms? Jesus God, what was that? Like some serious ragdoll physics. <laughs> oh, sorry, that took me by surprise. All right, so we got the shield equipped. Does it work with our sword? No, it doesn't, because it's a two-handed sword. I had a feeling. Is this a one-handed sword? Perhaps. It appears to be. Yes. Lovely. Look at us. What is that? Is that a mud crab? Disgusting creatures. It's a uh, Yagra larvae. Freaking dead is what it is. Come here. Come here, son. Where are you? Again, I might want to turn the sensitivity down a little bit. Seems really bloody high right now, Charlie. Come, Charlie. Alright, where are we going? Hello? I am lost as hell. Oh, we're going this way. Yeah, let me turn down the sensitivity. It feels like I'm just whizzing around in circles. Uh, where would it be? Gameplay? Camera? Oh, it's this one. Rotation speed. Yeah, let's, let's rotate a little slower, shall we? Oh, that feels better. Okay. All right. This I can handle this. Yeah, add it a little too high, a little too sensitive. Like tweaking a nipple. You got to be careful with that. Hello. Want to be friends? Let's be friends. Stings like river. <laughs> you have such a such a D and D ish name. Look at you, you role player. What's what's that? I want. You got a bloody aardvark. I want. It's an aardvark, right? Or is that an anteater? Are they are they the same thing? As I know, that seems like a really silly question. I honestly don't know. They're really similar, right? I don't know. Whatever. I should just stop talking before I make myself sound like an idiot. But give the, the noise, someone's getting a it's phone the key in the background. To escaping this mind trap. Pearl. Abyssal pearl. Alright. Very cool looking. Jesus. Oh, okay, so this is like a our boss or whatever. Hello to you, good sir. You look very cool. It's a nightmare. You know what it looks like? At least his face. Uh, specifically his helmet. Looks a lot like the, um, the Falmer helmets. You know, in Skyrim. We're all familiar with Skyrim, right? Okay, get away from the AoE. Jesus, God. Like, he's doing, like, no damage, which I guess really shouldn't surprise me. They're probably not trying to kill you in a tutorial. 
Yeah. So anyway, I really enjoyed the the Mormon expansion. I thought it was really good. Uh, you know, I definitely have my complaints. Um, well however, now destroy the specifically the quests I thought were really good. Hang on, I want to loot the dude. Hold on a moment. Gimme, gimme. All right, let's destroy the pearl. Okay, it is fixed. Fantastic. So I should be able to mute during dialogue now in case something happens in the background. Cool. Let's go. It gladdens my heart to see you awake and free, my friend. You're the first to respond to my help and escape from that entity's grasp. Thanks for helping me, but who exactly are you? I am Oriandra, and I wear the cloak I mean, of the Sigic Order. I go that part. I came to Somerset at the behest of our Right Master when I sensed a dark and powerful mind magic emanating from this area. When I noticed your predicament, I knew I had to intercede. What's the Sigic Order? Now, I know the answer to most of these things. You know, again, I've played most of the Elder Scrolls games. I finished Morrowind, Oblivion, Skyrim. I've played a decent amount of Elder Scrolls Online, so. It's more just because I like the lore and it's more for the viewers, so, you know, just bear that in mind. If it seems like I'm asking questions that I should know the answer to, chances are I do know the answer. I just want to hear what they have to say. The Sigic Order is an ancient society of mages, more akin to a monastic order than to the upstart Mages Guild, for example. We once served as advisors to the rulers of Tamriel, before we departed the world to pursue other interests. What does that mean, you departed the world? It means just that. We took our island of Arteum and sent it someplace else to better promote meditative study and contemplation. We maintain an interest in Tamriel, though, hence my appearance here during your time of need. I don't remember how the hell to, uh, to, like, get the chat off the screen. I know you can, but give me a minute, because I don't want to do it right now. Okay, well, actually, no, I think you can do it without... Let's try it. Two notifications. Oh, God, I knew it was going to happen. Bloody hell. So I think these are, like, pre-order bonuses or whatever. Apparently, R. Lewis wants to be my friend. I assume that's a viewer. Hello, Lewis. How's it going? Uh, gifting unlocked. Gifting has been unlocked on your account. Oh, okay. Wait, no. Hang on. No, because I just made this account, didn't I? Who the bloody hell is R. Lewis? Who are you, sir? Maybe you saw us in the tutorial or something. I don't know. Um, how do we hide the bollocking chat? I think it's this, isn't it? Yes, there you go. All right, beautiful. We did it. It gladdens oh, my heart sakes. to see you. I am Oriandra. Uh, let's go back the through Sigic this. Order is an it means just that. We took Tell our more island about the mind of Arteum, and I haven't isolated the source of the mind magic, except that the malevolent entity calls itself Katora. It imprisoned you in the mind trap in order to control you, but to what purpose, I'm not sure. Who or what is Katora? I have no idea. Sounds like a demon name Whoever or something. Whoever or whatever Katora is, it wields powerful mind Probably magic. Probably a demon, right? Much more powerful than anything I've ever encountered before. The Mind Trap is an insidious spell that has ensorcelled a number of victims. I'm still watching over them. I have never heard the word ensorcelled in my life. But I love it already and I want to use it. I'm going to have to look that up and just seem like a smart ass. I'm going to just be talking to Steve at work. I don't like Steve. But I'm just going to be like, you have ensorcelled me, Steve. And he's going to be like, what? I'm going to be like, yeah, yeah, bitch. Other victims. You weren't the only newcomer to wander into this mind trap. Even a number of High Elves have succumbed to the Dark Entity's power. Have you heard of the High Elves? With elf? my help, though, you were the first to break free. That gives me hope that I can eventually save the others. Nah. Uh, if all that was in my mind, how come I still have the items I found there? You noticed that, did you? Very observant. Thank you. That's the right. mind trap created replicas of items oh, you already possessed. Convenient. You needed them, so they became real inside the illusion. And of course, you'd still have them in the waking world. They are real, after all. All right, I'll accept your explanation, but I will not accept your eyebrows. If I can ever pay you for your help, let me know, for I am a friendly adventurer, not a dickhead like I play in Fallout and Skyrim. Take a moment to rest. But once you've shaken off any residual effects of the spell, I might require your assistance. Nah. And take Shove this. It. I assume it belongs to you. It was near your unconscious body when I found you. Gracias, Amiga. I must return to the Eldbur ruins to the north and aid the others caught Ooh. in Katora's mind trap. If you find yourself in the area, you might be able to assist me. Stay safe and remember you have a friend in the Sigic Order. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Sorry, I get songs stuck in my head. It's a weird uh, OCD, 
ADHD. No, no, probably everything. Probably both. Uh, before you go, tell me more. Can you tell me more about the mind trap before you go? Or didn't we not just ask those? But let's see if she says the same thing. The Sigic Order is an ancient society of mages, more akin to a monastic order. Yes, than to the yes, she did it say the same thing. Okay, this is all exactly the same. Fantastic. The order. Fare thee well. Oh, my God, my chesticles! I didn't realize they were so big. All right, so. All right, claim the reward, even though we're not going to use this bloody character. Gimme, gimme! She's very happy. Very, very happy. All right, so let me switch characters in a momentum for favor, and then we shall see. I think you can just, like, teleport straight to the Sunset Isles or something like that, so be right back. Let's hope this works. Okay, so, welcome back. Now, I realize this makes me a horrible piece of human scum, but I bought the Collector's Edition for this. Because I didn't buy the Collector's Edition for the Morrowind expansion, and then everyone was walking around with a badass looking grey bear, and I had my regular brown bitch bear. Basic bitch bear. Brown basic bitch bear. Uh, yeah, I, I had that, and I was like, oh, yeah. So, it wasn't that expensive compared to the regular version. I think the regular version was like... This ended up costing me, I think, about £10 more. So, you know, what the hell is that? That looks cool and very odd. Hmm. It looks sort of like half icy, half fiery. I think this I have. I think it's a mount. I hope so. Because it looks cool as hell. So, um... Again, I, I thought the idea was that we could just teleport straight there. Clearly we have the expansion. I don't think that's... You know... I don't think that's two other realms of realistic, because we were just playing it. So... Uh, does this stuff appear in your inventory? What is this? Collections, maybe? Maybe that makes sense. Alright, so what do we got here? Uh, Hydro Helm, blah blah blah, okay. Head markings... I don't know how any of this works. I may have to, like, pick it up from somewhere or something. I'm not 100% certain. I don't bloody remember. What about if we got amounts? Okay, so we do have this. Yes. Okay, so we have the mount. I think it's like T or something to call the horse. I don't know why T. Not T. Oh, T's like tracking the... Oh, right, right. Um, H. Yes, H for horse. Okay, I got it. Oh my god. How bloody cold is it? Let's go run around and make everyone jealous. Look at me! Are you jealous of mine horse? Do you like my horse, 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 my red horse, horse? You cannot afford for... That's a parody of a song. Hello! Are you jealous, green hair man? Hmm, you should be. You know why? Because my hair is better than yours, even though I have none of it. You green haired freak! Alright, let's go with the horse. So we have the horse. I still know exactly. I might have to look this up. Uh, but let's still look at my collection. Shh, where is my collection? I forgot already. Okay, so there's that. Right, so we got the horse. What is the. Um... It said I had like the, the pre order freaking thing, right? Did I just miss the pre order thing slightly? Oh, maybe I did. Oh, that would suck. Oh, that would make me a little sorry. Appearances, hide your helm, blah blah blah. You know what? I may have missed it. I may have missed out on that thing. But no, it popped up on the screen, didn't it? Saying like, if you pre-order now, you get it. Do you see what I mean? Like, basic bitch bear. Disappointing. Disappointing. Uh, Alright, give me a moment. I'm gonna, gonna make a cut here and I'm gonna look around and see if we can find where that mount maybe possibly is. I'm this talking to a dead man now. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can figure out where that mount is and stuff and see how to teleport. Because I think you teleport to the expansion. I am not sure. Be right back. Okay, so, I've been looking around. It does seem like we may have missed the pre-order stuff, which really sucks, but whatever. Uh, we have this as a pet. pet. Slow down, try and look at you. Put a fledgling griffin, or griffin? Oh no, I don't bloody know. Ten points to Gryffindor. All right, so we got that, and there's like an outfit as well, and some other stuff. Let's have a look at the outfits. Appearance. Um. No, 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 that would make sense. Major adornments? No. Uh, costumes. You'd think it would be like one of these. Hang on a minute. Let's look at the mail again, see what it was called. Clearly, I do not remember. Uh, it is called Divine Prosecution Outfit Style. Usable in outfit stations. Out at outfit stations. Outfit stations? Hmm. So I don't just equip it through here? Oh, very bloody confusing. Maybe you do, but I don't see it. All right, look, that thing. That's what I think we missed out on. Jesus, God, I'm so mad if that's the case. Uh, yeah, but yeah, we got a horse, I suppose. Uh, all right, so I still need to look up how the hell to get to the Somerset Isles expansion. 
I suppose if we go to like our quest or something, maybe we can see it there. How the hell do I go to quests? Probably in the journal, right? For glory! Alright, so that's something else entirely. That's just like a PvP based thing, I think. Guild, yeah, so it's not listed there. Yeah, clearly I don't know. Alright, gonna look it up. Be right back. Alright, so welcome back. After some looking around, apparently, if you open the map, you can go, I think it's over here? Yeah. Shimmerine Way Shrine is supposedly where I need to teleport to, so let's try that. And hopefully, that's the correct one. I have no idea. I still can't figure out why we don't have that black tiger, fiery, badass looking thing. It's not really a tiger, you know what I mean, uh, leopard, no? What's the thing that Bagheera is in Jungle Book? It's escaping me. That big black cat. Uh, I can't quite figure out why we don't have that. It still seems like we should, but to be honest, it's not that big of a deal. You know, if we don't have it, we don't have it, whatever. Um, but yes, I just, I'm mostly just confused why we don't. Let the cat fight those monsters. The island sprung a leak. Run! The island sprung a leak? All right, well, looks like we're there, I think. Yeah, it seems to be. Let's open up the map real quick before we talk to this fella. Cloud rest. Left click to recall here. That's bloody miles away. What is this? Shimmerine? That makes sense, actually, since we, you know, we just teleported there. Uh, there's a dock over there. Fantastic. All right, cool. So I believe we are there. There's a big bloody wolf you got there with really low res. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's kind of like really low in probably. What's that? I want that. I want all these things. Let's talk to this dude. Hello, Calabar. First, the queen issues a decree that changes the status of Somerset from an isolated paradise into a tourist attraction. Now, monsters, sea creatures, I've never seen anything like them. Well, I say let the cat fight them. Oh, Better him than me. Don't talk to me about sea creatures. That's terrifying. Monsters, cat, slow down. Tell me what happened, you goddamn idiot. Suddenly, the ground opens, spewing water and strange creatures. They attacked us. Luckily, one of the newcomers, a Khajiit, leaped in and drove them back. Called himself Razumdar. He could probably use some help if you're so inclined. Maybe I am so inclined. I'll go have a chat with this Razumdar. Alright, so, assumably, uh, this one is probably the main quest, and this one is the one we just picked up. Let's go do this one. I see no reason to uh, rush the main quest. Where does it go? Hello, are you a real person? Yes. Gandalf the Grey. Hmm. I wonder what his name might be a reference to. Not sure. Look at you with your, your scamp. What the hell is that? Is that a gobble? Is that a gobble? Is this a real dude? I don't think it's a real dude. It says it's, it belongs to a guy called Cyber Goose? Is he Cyber Goose? Where is he? How weird. Let's talk to the merchant. I get a lot of robed customers. Not sure what organization they're from, but I don't much mind. As long as their gold is good. Alright. All right, come repair kit, repairs, okay. I, to be honest, I am not 100% familiar with the repairs. Well, no, I think you can, isn't it? Yeah, there's a repair button there, okay. Um, we probably should do that. What will it cost? Is there not, a, oh, there is a repair at the bottom. Okay, cool. Let's do that, just to make things, uh, make things simpler. Okie dokie. You will have to bear with me. Again, it's been months, so I'm damned if I remember how the hell to play any of this. So, just take it easy on me. Give me a moment. What's going on here? They, is this like a PvP, a PvP jewel? My money's on the glowing bastard with the bow. Because he's shooting at about a gazillion arrows per second. It's fairly close though. And the catman has it, the catman's doing it, oh my god. I am not a very good commentator, as you can tell. You just... Did she become more progressively naked as the fight went on, or was she always wearing not very much? I hate you, I want that, come back here. Bastard. Alright, she's definitely losing. Why am I still standing here watching this? I don't know. Can I, like, gang up on her? No, I probably have to be part of the duel. Die, damn you! So I can go talk to the man. Hurry up and lose. I want to see what happens. I want to see if they get KO'd or if it's just, like, their health or stuff. You got the little bitty one. It's adorable. Lady, you got, you got absolutely right. Teabag of justice. Yeah. You can actually resurrect them. Interesting. Hello to you. Have you ever seen such creatures? Raz has not. Probably neither have you. You are a newcomer, yes? Yes. New to this island of high elves? 
This one has an eye for such things. And you look capable. So can Raz interest you in some cloak and dagger work? Cloak and dagger work. Sounds ominous. Ominous? No, ominous. nothing of this sort. Well, maybe a little Beef. of the sort. Depends on how things develop. Raz has come to Somerset at the behest of Queen Irene to make sure her decree regarding the opening of the island proceeds as she directed. So how can I help? Ask some questions, determine the mood in Shimmerin, and see how the newcomers are faring. Rumors have reached the Queen, and she is concerned. So Razumdar comes to see what is happening and fights strange creatures. Now Raz is concerned as well. Alright, I'll ask some questions around the city. Thank you very much, my punk haired friend. While you ask questions around the city, Raz can take care of some other business. It may or may not involve scratching and clawing. Let's meet near the entrance to Shimmerin when you have something to report. Now, I'm not saying he sounds like Borat, okay? I'm just saying he sounds a little bit like Borat. And because I was watching a lot of Borat and Ali G stuff, only yesterday, all I could think of is Borat every time he talks. And it's bloody hilarious in my mind. Uh, what were those strange creatures I saw you fighting? Raz never saw such monsters in his life. They appear related to water, but this one tends to avoid this stuff. Me too. That pearl, though, It's scary. Raz swears it was calling those creatures. A mystery for another time, perhaps. Now, we need to see to the newcomers. So, suddenly monsters have arrived, apparently from the ocean. As long as they don't go back in the ocean and require me to go in the ocean as well to follow them, we're good. I'll find them on land all day. As soon as I go again in the water, that's where it's terrifying. Anyone in specific you want me to talk to regarding the Queen's decree? As Perhaps a matter of fact, Raz made a list. Old Newell, a high elf artisan, spoke out. See what she complained about. Then there's Soxolza, a persecuted Argonian newcomer. It's a hell of a name. Finally, Ranul. A city resident noted in the Divine Prosecution's Observation Mode. What did... Anul? Is that how you pronounce it? Speak out about and where can I find her? Old Newell and complained is she about it. No, no. Raz doesn't want to prejudice your investigation. And are those gloves? You will find out when you talk to her. The artists like to gather shells along the eastern coast. She uses them to make paints and dyes. Renault, that doesn't sound like a High Elf name to me. Have you heard of the High Elves? True. Not enough syllables. Ranul's a Red Guard, whose family has lived in Shimmerin for generations. He's a well-respected trader, with a few warehouses the along the docks. Talk to him, before the Divine Prosecution decides to arrest him. What's the Divine Prosecution? The Divine Prosecution serves as lawkeepers you know, and protectors of social standards. Very persnickety. When the rules are broken, they record it in their observation logs. If your name winds up on their list, things get complicated. My wife? What do you mean? Soxolda? Soxolza? I forget how you... Dave. What about Dave being prosecuted? Persecuted? Something to do I with agree. monks and newcomer registration. Roz is looking into that. Last I heard, Soxolza was seen leaving the city and heading west. Probably trying to reach the water. Lizards like water, yes? Not Roz. Gah. Roz hates the wet stuff. Yeah, I know. You've, you've, you've told me, Roz. Uh, what does this all have to do with the geyser and those creatures? That probably says geyser, but I'm going with geyser. Nothing at all. Geyser! Unless you think they came to Somerset because of the Queen's decree. No, that would be ridiculous. Let's not lose focus. Just see what Old Newell, Soxolza, and Ranul have to say about newcomers and the mood in Shimarin. What do you expect me to learn about talking to these people? We need mm -hmm. to confirm these rumors or else put an end to them. Everyone She's still robbing that dead bitch. The Queen's decree, opening the border shows progress, yes? However, if any of her loyal subjects reject progress, well, Raz needs to know that too. Or I'll go talk to him. While you ask Thank questions you kindly. around the city, Anything else I should know about Shimmery? Take care of some... hmm. Raz knows very little about city ordinances or how to tell the difference between mead and ale, so let's avoid those topics, yes? Otherwise, 
This one knows all about the Queen's decree and the initial reaction of the nobles and king lady. Who are you again? I have Alzheimer's. Raz is wounded to the core. Forgotten already. This one usually leaves a better impression. I am Razumdar, Queen Irene's Eye and Dark Lantern Agent Extraordinaire. But that is a secret between you and me. To everyone else, and her. this one is simply Raz. Okie dokie. Tell me about the Queen's decree. Queen Irene, her most excellent leader of the Aldmeri Dominion, has issued a decree opening the once forbidden land of Somerset to traders, visitors, and immigrants of all races. Controversial, yes, but part of her plan for the Dominion's future. So basically, she's the opposite of Trump. Gotcha. And this is a problem, how? For some. High elves talk of perfection, but they are a uh, complicated people. Various individuals in Somerset take issue with their queen, with change of any sort, actually. The king lady, for example. Some nobles. Makes my job complicated. What's that about the king lady and the nobles? <sighs> king lady Avenis has made her views on the queen's decree quite clear. She calls it unreasonable, dangerous. A few of the city's nobles have sided with the king lady, as has the new old dark at the monastery. My queen permits discussion, to a point. So the king lady opposes the queen's decree? She has spoken against it. Now Raz needs to know how far she will go to defy the will of the queen. Does she crumble but welcome the newcomers, or is she using every option at her disposal to block their arrival? Raz will find out, with your help. Okie dokie. Hello to you. Yeah, pop in. Hmm, I like your mask. It's very cool looking. Oh, you know, you could run away whilst I'm admiring it. You selfish bastard. Okay, look at my horse. Look at it! What do you have, hmm? A map, exactly. Alright, so we are going over... I guess this guy's closest is go chat with this fella. Or lady. I don't remember who this is. Thus, I do not know what gender they are. Frankly, it doesn't matter. You sexist pig. What's wrong with you? Hello? Oh, good lord. Wait, what? What happened? On the... Okay, we gotta find them, I guess? They're around this area somewhere. What the hell's going on over here? Go find your own patch of... Oh! Crikey! Hello to you! Not that you'd understand the concept, but the path to Alaxon requires dedication and complete concentration. I must find the perfect shells, or my pigments will be substandard. And do you know what that will do to my art? Exactly. All right, look. We got off on the wrong foot here. You're clearly a bitch, but you are quite attractive, even though you seem to have this permanent frown. But I can work with that. I'm just saying. Let's start over. Maybe I can get your number. What's the path to Alexon? An ultimate concept practiced widely here in Somerset. Alexon is the state of perfection that every high elf strives for. Uh. The path to Alexon represents the approach we take to achieve that state. Now, why have you interrupted my work? This is why I love Elder Scrolls and Lion. There's so much lore in this that I, you know, I, I don't know anything about the path of Alexon and high elves having this to strive for. I don't know any of that. So I feel like I'm always learning something about the world of Elder Scrolls, you know, whereas you play Skyrim and it's like, Falmara! I, I solves, and that's basically it. I heard you made complaints in Shimmerine. I'd like to hear about that, and uh, maybe break your kneecaps. What can I say? My job. Nothing I personal. I need caution as much as the next high elf, but sometimes the rules get in the way of common sense. My apprentice lived here for more than a year. Good help is so hard to find, oh, especially among the newcomers. And she was adept at making dyes. What happened to your apprentice? They took her away. Did you bore her Said to they had to scrutinize her qualifications, test her knowledge of culture and etiquette. But I haven't seen her since. My work suffers, so of course I complained to the monks. Now I have to gather my own shells. Oh, isn't life terribly hard? Did the monks offer any explanation as to where she was or when she'd be... Blah, 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 be returned? They told blah. me I could fill out some forms and appeal to the kin lady. 
But who has time for such bureaucracy? And for a wood elf? Oh, I know. I said too much. How frightful. I have work to do, and all this aggravation has diverted my path to Alaxon. Or I'll let you get back to your work, you miserable bitch. It Perfection was, uh, requires constant vigilance, so back to it. You like my horse? You do? Okay, cool. All right, let's go. So there's... Okay, oh my god, that guy's drowning quickly. Yeah, I'll save you. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. Whatever you need. I'll you need. Oh, no, never mind. They're back on the line. Never mind. Crisis averted. Put away my red uh, thing that they have in Baywatch. Oh, there's one of these stony things over here. Oh, and a bug to catch. Let's uh, let's grab you. Come here, you little tor tor torch bug bastard. Can you tell I'm tired? Good lord. All right. I don't know why we take out a knife to do this, but, you know, I'm not going to question it. Uh, these are for enchanting, I believe. I don't remember exactly. Well, that appears to be a boat that does absolutely nothing. It looks very pretty around here. I like it. I like it. And then again, you know, like I mentioned uh, near the beginning of this video, Elder Scrolls Online in general, I think, looks very, very nice game it is all right so that guy's quite far away let's go travel over here you have is that a lion is that a black lion is that the lion's name or is that his name i think it's his name right Gaha. very difficult to pronounce i shall he'll call you frederick can i kill can i kill you have to know can i murder you do you die do you bleed Tell me what color do you bleed? Yeah, it definitely bleeds. What's that? Dead now. Nick's ad. It seemed friendly, but uh, I didn't know that. It looked like it was coming right for me. You could also slash these, I think, right? No. All right, we're well, fair enough. Uh, I believe the insect parts are for fishing. I don't really know, but I think they are. I seem to remember doing a little bit of fishing in the... Uh, in the Morrowind expansion. It's alright. It's not like the worst fishing I've ever done in the game. Not the best though. Uh, you know, a bit a bit basic. What? Oh my god. Get out of the bloody way. I'm trying to examine this dead body and you have to stand on it, don't you? It's a lizard. Alright, confirmed. Backpack. Okay, so this is probably the dude. Seems quite likely. Maybe that's just a racist assumption. It's like, well, you're looking for a black guy. It's a dead black guy. It's got to be the same dude, right? There's only one black guy. No, I'm just saying, you know, makes sense. Uh, Gemeth Somerset is not the wondrous paradise the heralds proclaimed it to be. Despite the fine words in the Queen's decree, the High Elves want nothing to do with outsiders. They treat the newcomers worse than a mud flea on a gua. As soon as I stepped off the boat, priests from the monastery collected me for some sort of cultural assessment, and I became Australian. To ascertain my understanding of society or so. Society, societal rules, there you go, and regulations. However, no one actually asked me any questions. They looked, locked me in a cell somewhere in the bowels of the monastery along with the other newcomers to the island. Something about the whole affair felt wrong to me. This sounds like the plot of Enter the Dragon. Uh, where are we? Like warm water in an otherwise cool stream. <sighs> Analogy. When I heard of... When I heard one of the monks give thanks with a Daedric prayer, hmm, I knew I had to get out of there. Yeah, that does seem a little suspicious, doesn't it? I used the talents I learned from associates who may or may not have belonged to the Thieves' Guild. I know you disapprove of my friends. Am I being attacked? I think I am. Well, we're reading. And slipped out of the cell and away from the monastery. In the morning, I plan to head to Alanor. Hopefully, I can secure passage back to the Merkmire there. Frankly, at this point, any destination would be preferable to here. Oh, you saved me. Thank you, my hero. Save me from a giant bloody salamander. You're back into the depths of hell from whence you came. Thank you, you are my hero. How do I say this? Let's open up the chat. My bollocks. My hero. My god, my typing. Jesus. There you go. Let's see if we can make a friend, shall we? Just need a friend in this world. Alright, let's get back on our horse. Uh, so the last dude we are looking for is bloody miles away. What's this marker over here? Is that a quest? It appears to be a quest. Let's grab it, because I'll never remember Seeking it's here otherwise. Fine Russifeld Red. Prepare for disappointment. How fast is that dude? Jesus, hello. Headed to the famed Russifeld Winery. Traveler. Hell of a name. Well then, it seems I'm not the only one who'll be disappointed today. Old Hallimorian's been offed by those wood elves. Won't be any wine tastings for a while, I'd wager. You mean there's been a murder? 
just what I heard from one of the bailiffs. Apparently, some daffy Bosmer called the Ghost of the Green did it, but no one knows for sure. The investigations hit a snag. Something about the rule of three. Superstitious nonsense, if you ask me. I love the voice acting in this game. It's so good. They're all like such pompous British assholes, and I can say that because I am a pompous British asshole. The rule of three? Indeed. You sound Australian. Until Bang they up. find a suitable third investigator, the Juris Reeves and Revelators are left to sit on their hands. Nonsense. Why not go lend them a hand? They'll likely just tell you to go jump into the sea, but it can't hurt to ask. All right, I'll do that. Thanks. You like my horse? I paid money for this horse. Kind of. All right, so... Bollocks, I think it's marked a different quest. Let's open up the journal, which is J. No, yes. Yes? Yes. Here we go, okay. Queen's Decree. That's the one we're doing, so yeah. Let's, let's mark that one for now. All right. Last dude is all the way over yonder. What is that? Can I murder it? Let's have a look. It's merely a sheep. We have special attacks, all right? Get mushroomed, son. These of justice. Why did you commit such a horrible crime? Because it was looking at me for... You are now notorious. Shit! Okay, apparently that was like his goat. Sheep. I didn't know that. I thought it was just a wild one. I got an achievement though called Wicked Shepherd. Worth it, you know? Bloody worth it. Hang on a minute. What's... I just realized we have these message notifications. Oh, okay. So never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize these were universal. So, okay. So we probably do know who Lewis is. I will add you, Lewis. I assume it's a viewer. I don't know. Gifting has been unlocked during your accounts. You may now gift items for... I mean, I know I know we have viewers named Lewis. So I just, you know... There's multiple people in the world called Lewis. So, you know, I'm not, I don't want to make assumptions like we did with the lizard. Be like, well, it's probably the same lizard. You know, it could be a different Lewis. Uh, Gifting has been unlocked. Okay, sure. Cool. Uh, still cut up. I'm not going to lie. Genuinely. That we don't have that cool looking... Pan Panther! There you go. Jesus, we got there in the end. Panther looking thing. With the fire and everything. I mean, this is a great horse, don't get me wrong. It's a lovely horse. But it's not a fiery panther, is it? It's not that! It's not fucking that, is it? God damn it. Just had to come along to rub it in, didn't he? Rub it in my See, face. Oh my right. lord. You have no right. Uh. But if you pay your bounty and stop annoying me. I might be lenient. That's some very nice armor you have there. Let's try clemency. It's showing up in red. Uh, oh, we're out of time. Ah, uh, powerful friends. I can't do it. I'm in no Shit. mood for your shenanigans. Get away. Oh, bollocks. Mushrooms of justice. Bear of justice. Ah! Okay, we're going to murder this guy. He's taking like no damage. We're going to run away from the guard. Oh, crap. Someone help me. Help me. Help me. How do we tactically roll as well? I know we can roll in this game. How do I do that? I don't remember. Is it double? It's double tap. Okay, good, 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 good. Go, 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 go. Go. <laughs> we look like such a goon in third person. No! Oh my god. Clubbing me across the back of the head. Get him, bear. Distract him. Oh shit, there's another guard there. Now! I'm just. I just killed a sheep, alright? And. Oh, crap. Oh no! Why do they have, like, roots that they can tie me up with? This is not cool. Leave me alone. Well, we found the guy. Bugger off! What the hell did it? Who did I cast the mushrooms on? Okay, they are healing me. We need to be near them. There's another guy now! Bollocks! Okay. Do you see that on the bottom right? That has The white bar has to fill up. Or the red bar, I guess, has to fill up with white. Um. I think we may be fucked. To be honest with you. I'm going to try and just run away. Uh. Well, we found something. But yeah. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Yeah. Yeah, this dead yeah, no, this there's a bat. Do we jump in the water and swim for it? I don't know if that's a good idea. Um Oh crap. Excuse me, sir, help me. Nunul Neandil. Hell of a name. These people and their names, man. Must be a high elf thing, right? Because orcs are always called like Grobog gr Gragash or something. What's going on with my arms? What the hell? Alright. Seems a little glitchy. <laughs> I gotta be honest. Diddle diddle it, Inspector Gadget. Diddle diddle it, Woohoo! Diddle it. Oh, it reset. All right, whatever. Okay, so where's the dude we're looking for? The guard is there. I think I'm gonna have to go past the guard to talk to him. That's not gonna work. Let's see if we can sneak around the back. Just gonna, just gonna try and. Oh, look at you, your bony horse. Are you a real person? I think it's a real person. It looks like Ar Is it Arvac? 
the guy. Oh, Vax, the guy right from the. Uh, he's right there. Okay, the guy we're looking for is. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we're gonna try and do. <laughs> we're gonna try and go all the way around here to avoid the guard. Maybe we can, like, cheese it and jump over the wall or something. It's. Eh. 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 Okay, I don't think it's gonna work. I've gotta be honest with you. It was a stupid idea. I don't know why you thought of it. All right, let's just try. Just, just don't see me. This work isn't going to do itself. Dun 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 dun. Snake. Okay, I think we've made it past the guards. Oh, it's that guy again. Or is that a different dude? Come back! I'm trying to look at you. God damn it. Hello to you. A newcomer nice, in the uh, warehouse district. Mutton chops. Unusual. But how can I help you today, my friend? And so we're friends. I was wondering how your name ended up in the Divine Prosecution's observation log. Hmm. The Divine? Hmm. Who told you that? If a Justicier sent you to try and trick me into confessing... No, no. The High Elves would never send a newcomer to perform such a task. But I admit it. I made my thoughts known. And what were those thoughts, if you don't mind me asking? I arranged to bring my cousin here to work with me. The ship arrived, but all the newcomers were carted away. For questioning, they said. I complained to the kin lady and fun, anyone else would listen. And what has it gotten me? Nothing. You're not a high elf. Wow, that's a racist... He looks angry. That's a racist statement. Just because of the color of his skin, all right? He could be a high elf. He could be like half high elf, you know? Anyway, you're not a high elf. Have you lived in Somerset very long? Oh, my family has been here for generations and generations. Looks Before like he's leaning on my bear's decree, ass. Outsiders might yeah, have been yeah. rare, but we were not unheard of. Our business has grown and gets better every day. That's why I sent for my cousin. We need the help. You like living here? Somerset is a rare and beautiful jewel in the Abitian Sea. I love it here. The High Elves treat us like children, but they have never been hostile. The Queen's decree has stirred the waters, though. I fear it will get worse before it gets better. All right, so we learned not very much from talking to everyone, but still. Okay. Oh, maybe it's not the white bar. It's the red bar's got to go down. Hmm. What the hell's the white bar about, then? Not a bloody clue. We could pay off our bounty, theoretically, I guess, but, I mean, they were trying to murder me, you know? I was going to do it, but they were like, Oh, we're just going to kill you instead. Uh, let's try cutting across... Can I teleport, actually? Well, that would cost me money, wouldn't it? Well, no, I think if you're close, it doesn't cost money. Well, no, it's cost me money. Son of a bitch. Is it worth the 84 gold? How much money do we have? I actually have no idea. 3.3 grand almost. Not a lot. It's not that bad. I'm just going to teleport because bugger it. Uh, I can't remember how quick or slow you teleport, so... I may or may not cut this out. I do not know. I think it's fairly quick, right? Let's, let's have a look. I like the way you do the uh, the star sign. You are now notorious. Oh, good. Yeah, it's really quick. Oh, I think you said you will no longer be attacked by the law. I am the law! Sorry. All right, so let's... Go over here. Back to... Uh, Raz Al Ghul. I forget his name. It's something like that. Raz... Razam... Razam... Razamdar. There you go. There you go. I was going to say that, I swear. Why have you closed the monastery? Why? Oh! Good people. I hear your concerns. Hello, do you like my horse? Well, the workers I hired, they were aboard the ship from Rivenspire. The kin lady and I, we have only your best interests in mind. Every guest must be sequestered while we ascertain their suitability okay. for Ultima society. Look at everyone with their goddamn right. panthers. I don't have the new colors. Send the newcomers back where they came from. We don't want them here. I want a panther. Hello. Such anger. What happened? Oh god. Raz never expected to hear such words from the Queen's loyal subjects. The sentiment isn't universal, but enough feel this way for Raz to be concerned. Did you learn anything interesting from the people I sent you to talk to? The artist's assistant and the Red Guard's cousin have both been sequestered. Sequestered? Hmm. That's what I said. Just a different word for imprisoned, yes. Exactly. Ranul's cousin just arrived, but Old Newell's assistant has lived on Somerset since long before the Queen ever issued her decree. What about the lizard? What did Soxolza have to say? Soxolza? 
was dead by the time I reached him. I found this letter in his pack. I'm glad you said it, because I forgot how to say it. <sighs> Why would the Aldar gather up newcomers and non-High Elf residents alike and send them to the monastery? Does the Kin Lady condone this behavior? Yeah, probably. She seems Raz's like a bitch. head itches, and not in a good way. Is there a good way? Our course is clear, Five Claw. We must go to the monastery. What did you just call it? Five Claw? The hell does that mean, you racist git? All right, I'll help you investigate the monastery, but stop calling me Five Claw because I feel like that's an insult. Raz Small admires dick. your enthusiasm, but this one needs you to enter the monastery on your own. Raz has other fish to catch. You mean literally? This one will help you get past the sentry, though. Because you are a cat. When you notice that the sentry is distracted, just sleep quietly inside. Stealth. The thing I am worst at. Fantastic. Alrighty, so that is going to do it for today's episode. Thank you all for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, suck a dick. Here's the outro. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. And an especially huge thank you to this month's 10 plus dollar tier patrons who are as follows. Don Lobo, KB, I'll Be Jiggered, Miss Justice 83, Black Wolf 8994, Billy Nying, Dr. Papa Penguin, Philip Rep, aka Bebop 56210, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, and Hitbox. And thank you to the five plus dollar tier patrons, as well as this month's Twitch subscribers who should appear on the screen at any moment, and everyone in the lower tier as well. I really could not do this without you guys. If you would like to help support the channel and become a patron yourself, you can do so over on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Mr. Anderson LP. Most of all though, just thank you for watching. If you would like to help support me, but you cannot afford to do so financially, you can always hit the like button, leave a comment, that would help out a great deal as well. Other than that, I will see you next time. Good night everybody and goodbye!